For Assignment Desk Weekend, I'm Kevin McCullough. Let's get to the news. In an attempt to get the press to ask him literally about anything else than the evidence being revealed in his impeachment inquiry, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, seen here listening carefully to the voices in his head, is attempting to remove yet another appliance from the American home. Now, fortunately, as much of the nation heads into the fall and winter, none of us will really need our gas-burning furnace this year. New campaign slogan, though, might be kind of catchy. Stay cold, save the planet, Sleepy Joe. California dictator, Simon Desk Weekend means California governor, Gavin Newsom admits that he's in a bit of a quandary as to how to fill the seat now vacated by the longtime Senator Dianne Feinstein vis-a-vis -vis her death this week. Simon Desk Weekend has learned that the longtime Democrat has received a number of suggestions on who he should pick, and he has decided on a replacement. And what we're about to view together here with you on Assignment Desk Weekend has never been shown. This is secret behind-the-scenes footage that we were able to obtain that nobody else has. Let's view that now. Okay, let's see. Who do I pick? Cackles, move her to Senate. Oh, make that guy the VP, and uh, <laughs> I'm there when he kicks it. Pretty simple, I guess. A wet weekend in New York City has seen more raindrop than Superstorm Ida or Hurricane Sandy in recent years. So much so that the pool area at the Central Park Zoo was flooded so high that the sea lions, who were only able to previously swim in the pool, are now beginning to swim through the entire area. Assignment Desk Weekend's news crew even captured one of the sea lions taunting Mayor Adams by continually asking, Who's the mayor now, Eric? This week, the GOP held its second debate of the 2024 election cycle. By nearly every account, the event was an abject disaster. Assignment Desk Weekend even predicted, after viewing it, that it would be the least watched debate in the recent era. And when the audience numbers were published on Friday, Assignment Desk Weekend was proven correct. Less than 10 million people are deemed to have viewed it. But not to be deterred, Fox News is promoting very hard your chance to still catch it on demand. I mean, don't miss Stuart Varney absolutely mispronouncing the name of his co-panelist or that very catchy moment when Dana Perino late in the debate asked everyone to give them her idea of who they would vote off the island. Finally, despite a debate and impeachment inquiry, the death of a senator, or a flood in the nation's biggest city, Assignment Desk Weekend acknowledges that the story of the week continues to be Trailer Kelty, uh, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Uh, top story on not only Access Hollywood, The Today Show, Good Morning America, The Hollywood Reporter, Sports Talk Radio. To be honest, I'm, I'm really, I don't know why I'm into this, but they're both kind of good looking, fun people. I'm for this. I love to see, I, young love is wonderful. The Kelsey's Brothers own podcast. Yeah, my personal life, that's not so personal. Yeah, well. <laughs> I did this to myself, Jason. I know this. Well, Trav, um, how does it feel that uh, Taylor Swift has finally put you on the map? <laughs> I just And many other outlets. Country singer Jesse James Decker was asked what advice she had for Taylor Swift in relating to dating and marrying a football player. Decker responded by surmising, well, she's never dated an athlete. It's different than her world. She should enjoy it. And because literally no bit of news can now be non-political, even President Trump was asked his opinion regarding the couple by the press this week. The Daily Caller asking him for his thoughts. Well, I wish nothing but the best for both of them. Uh, I hope they enjoy their life, maybe together, maybe not. Okay, most likely not, but I still wish them the best. And that's Assignment Desk Weekend.